Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week number nine, the second to last week of the UBL, the Ultimate Battle League. And we are going up against Steve, aka Magnitude, aka the originator of this entire dang format. And uh, this is a super interesting week. So pretty much this is a, a win out situation for both of us. We are both um, really looking for a win in this match, trying to get ourselves in best position for playoffs. Um, if I win, I could actually take the third seed pretty comfortably. Okay, so we do see the Weavile Glide Score, Grand Bull, Bl Blacephalon, uh, Ferrothorn, and Vaporeon. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this team really does let my Scizor set up quite a bit. Um, I don't have any removal on my team, unfortunately, but I don't know. I am curious as to what I should do here. Um... I'm super curious as to what I should do here. Hmm. I should probably just lead off with my Needle Queen. My Needle Queen does have rocks, but I don't necessarily want a rocks lead. I just want to see whatever he leads off with. And honestly, my Needle Queen. Whoops. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I accidentally clicked a confirm with only four mons selected. We are going to do the same leads. I did see that he let off with Glyscore and I let off with my Needle Queen. My Needle Queen is kind of designed to take on his Glyscore a little bit. And in all honesty, I don't even really care that much whether or not I do get up rocks. Um, I don't have any removal, so he could get up his own rocks. The only question really is if he's going to click protect turn one in order to get his Toxic Orb off. Um, because then that would give me free rocks and allow me to Ice Beam next turn. If he does set up turn 1 rocks or turn 1 Earthquake, then obviously Ice Beam is the better play. I'm gonna go for the Ice Beam turn 1. Um, does go for the Earthquake. We are pretty darn physically defensive. We should, unless this is a super, okay, this is a reasonably offensive glide score. I can tell that right off the bat. But Ice Beam should do... Ice Beam is a straight Oko, so that means it was pretty much a max, that was pretty much a no bulk Glide Score. Yeah, this could not have been a, a, any bulk on this Glide Score at all. Even then, even to a no bulk uh, Glide Score, that Ice Beam was a roll to KO. It was a 50-50 chance to KO, and I guess we just got that 50-50 there. Um, I am super interested in how much um investment that had to do that much hp um 194 down to 180 that's 114 114 it's definitely not max attack but it's some hp er, attack investment that's maybe 100 evs yeah yeah so 100 evs i start to get that 114 roll um it could be that it could be that I'm not too too sure or it could have just um been holding some sort of an item i don't i don't know regardless um i really like this turn one i really like this turn one okay does bring in the weavile i'm sure he was trying to calc out to see how defensive i was and i'm pretty darn defensive i'm not quite max defense but i'm reasonably close to it also i don't even remember what my item is i feel like i'm leftovers and if that's the case um then he might have been max attack because um i got leftovers yeah so i got leftovers eight recovery so it probably was a lot more it could have been scarf for all i know i did see that he does like his scarf um his scarf fly score but weavile let's see weavile let's see life orb weavile I don't take any hits, which I didn't expect to, but I do want to see... And this is Max Attack Life Orb. Hmm. I might take a knockoff. If he goes for the knockoff, would I expect him to go for the knockoff here? Flamethrower would do about half, but I could save this for the Ferrothorn. Um... I wouldn't mind just going into my Raichu here. Honestly, the Vaporeon is going to be a huge, huge problem for me to break through later on in this match. Does, in fact, go for the knockoff. We could have taken that. We could have gotten a Flamethrower off. We do just barely take it, but we get the Static off, which is absolutely huge. Okay, so I honestly would have brought a Lightning Rod um, Raichu, except for the fact that 
I have Surf on this Raichu for the Glide score, ironically enough. But I couldn't have Lightning Rod be and Surf at the same time. I wasn't legal. So I had to bring Static. And he doesn't even have the Mega Manectric, which is the main reason that I wanted Lightning Rod. But uh, just the fact that this thing can get a an Ice Shard off makes me want to go into my my Lodic and get that free Flame Orb off, if that's a possibility at all. So let's see. Do we see the Ice Shard? We do. So we will get the Flame Orb for absolutely free. And I feel like... I feel like... Hmm. I feel like you would want to go into the Ferrothorn, and I want to pull a double right now. But if that's true, what would I double into? I would double into Scizor, honestly. I'm going to do that. I'm going to double into Scizor, but the fact that I got my Flame Orb off without getting knocked off first, um, that's going to be huge. That's going to be pretty huge. Um, I really do see the Ferrothorn coming in, and I went into my Scizor. Um, I didn't take a screenshot once again, so that's a bit of a theme. I really wish that I would uh, start doing that, but you know what? It's just the kind of season that it's been. I'm not going to pretend like I didn't, again, build this team in about an hour. So, as much as I like this team, as much as I um, think that I built a, as good a team as I could, um, we are out here. It does withdraw. Do we see the Ferrothorn? We do. Okay. So, going out into the Ferrothorn is a an incredibly free Swords Dance for me. But, let me look at his bottom... Let me look at the bottom screen to see his team. Uh, if I screenshot this... He could go into the Grand Bowl, which would be not great. Could go into the Vaporeon as well. Um, if he goes into the Vaporeon, plus two superpower, actually has a chance to KO, which is kind of wild to me. Um, I kind of want to get a Source Dance up, though. I, I I really should have doubled into my Nidoqueen instead. Going, if I went back into the Nidoqueen, that would have put me in an in, in infinitely better position. Even though he could have switched in his um, uh, Vaporeon, but then I could have gotten Roxa for free. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Regardless... I think Blacephalon. He could go into Blacephalon right the heck now. But if I'm at plus two, if I'm at plus two, Bullet Punch is a super roll. I'm gonna click Swords Dance. He does let me get the Swords Dance off. Can I get a second one? Goes for a Leech Seed. I do have, um, Roost on this thing. So, and if I get to plus four? If I get to plus four, then I'm really off to the races. That's such a stupid phrase. I don't know why I've started using that phrase. I used that phrase last week as well, and I don't know where that came from. I don't know. Off to the races. Where, where, where did I even pick that up? Like, okay, I, I know that I picked up a lot of phrases from uh, Josh and Baby Color. Like, I would have never said bananas if it wasn't for Baby Color. Um, but I don't know where I would have gotten. I don't know. Regardless, I think the best play is to just go for the Swords Dance. At plus four, um, Blacephalon goes down to a Bullet Punch. Um, this thing goes down to a Superpower. Vaporeon goes down to a Superpower. I can Bullet Punch the... Weavile and Granable, I have to run some calcs, but uh, I should be... I don't know. Granable. Um, okay, let's see. Um, if this is a max defense... Ooh, wow, Bullet Punch even at plus two, and I'm gonna get be a plus three, but Bullet Punch even at plus two should KO a Granable. Unless that's Baviri Bearing, but the fact that he's thinking this much makes me interested. I'm interested. Regardless, I'm getting to plus four. I'm getting to plus four. And this Blacephalon would have to be 
some crazy defensive investments to take a plus four bullet punch. I am, um, I am Iron Plate as well. I'm plus four Adamant, Max Attack, Iron Plate, Technician. According to this, Bullet Punch does a minimum of 129%. So I'm clicking Bullet Punch. Does pull a double. Goes back into the fair throw, and he's trying to wear me down. I, I, I'm gonna roost. I'm gonna roost. If this is his plan to take on my scissor, then 100% my play is to click roost. I'm not gonna let this happen. Is he rocket helmet as well? No, he's left over. They're fine. But I'm never gonna be in range of ice shard. And as long as I keep myself above plus three or so, then I should Oko most of his remaining team. I click Roost every dang time. I click Roost every dang time. I'm really curious to see what he does here. But I'm at plus four. I'm relatively safe. He has to sack at least one Mon to me. If I click Roost. Um... Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. Um, I would not have thought, it would not have come naturally to me to bring such an aggressive SD Scizor. My full set is Bullet Punch, Superpower, Swords Dance, and Roost. It would never have occurred to me to bring such an aggressive um, SD Scizor if it wasn't for um, me playing against Automatic in Season 1 of the UBL. And I had a Ferrothorn at the time, he had a Scizor at the time, he had a Mega Scizor, I think. Yeah, he had a Mega Scizor, if, if I remember correctly. And, um, and, uh, he, he told me after the match that my Ferrothorn was 100% set up fodder for his uh, Mega Scizor. I still ended up winning that match, but just that, how much terror that gave me, the fact that I knew that he, that I gave him, uh, such aggressive setup fodder that experience um in team building was what made me want to bring such an aggressive scissor knowing that he had a ferrothorn that i could possibly play around but regardless i click swords dance i got to plus six right maybe he's trying to bring me low enough where superpower brings my defenses low enough where between jar ball and leech seed um he can ko me Um, so I'll be at plus five. I'll be at plus five. And I am reasonably sure. I'm reasonably sure that at plus five, I KO. Um, even max. Okay, so max defense. Max defense, let's say bold. Or whatever. It wouldn't be bold, but um, I should do minimum 207%. I'm going to click Bullet Punch. I do have um, 12 speed EVs to hopefully not get outsped by Vaporeon. I should have put in 20, realistically. I should have put in 20. But um, he could try to juggle Intimidates. Um, that's a definite possibility, but... Regardless, now I'm going on the offense. I will be able to bullet punch something. Um, if he wants to bring in the Ferrothorn for more Iron Barbs damage, then I can roost back up for pretty darn free. Um, does withdraw. Goes into the Ferrothorn, but again, this is a pretty darn free roost, and I will get a plus four bullet punch. A plus, I'm at plus five. So he is taking this well, but um, he gives me a pretty darn free roost. And, mm, this isn't really a game that I should be playing because, um, I'm gonna have to click Superpower eventually, and he can absolutely bait me into clicking Superpower into an incoming Grand Bull. Um, but if the Grand Bull comes back out, then I have to click Superpower into it, I feel like. Does withdraw, go into Vaporeon, but I am at plus four, right? I'm either plus five or plus four. Uh, Vaporeon. 
Superpower should KO. What am I? Plus four? Plus five. At plus five, superpower. Let's say this is max defense. Superpower max defense should do a minimum 100% or so. And if this Vaporeon goes down, yeah, Vaporeon was the biggest threat to me in terms of um, just my team in general. Because I have so many special attackers, and if he had just a massively specially defensive Vaporeon, then that would have been a huge, huge issue for me. But um, the Blacephalon can't come in, the Granbull can come in for free, but I feel like if the Granbull comes in, I have to click... Um, I have to click Superpower to to predict the Ferrothorn coming in. Him juggling between the Ferrothorn and the Granbull is 100% going to put me in a bad spot in general. He could be trying to count out at what point my defenses get low enough where Weavile Ice Shard can do something, but um, I feel like that's going to be a while. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to play this too passively where I'm allowing him too many free turns to, to play around me, but... Um, I don't know. I feel like mm, I could be throwing the game right now, but I feel like I have to click superpower. I'm going to click superpower. Do you see the withdrawal? If he stays in a fire fangs, then he got me good. He got me good. Mm, he stays in a fire fangs. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think I handle the rest of his team decently well, but... Fire Punch. Okay. Okay. You got me good. You got me good. I don't know what to say. I should have... Mm, I'm so I really should have just clicked the button. Oh, well. Oh, well. Now I think I can get off a free... Um, Stealth Rock here. He could bring in the Blacephalon aggressively, but, um, I could Earth Power. The Ferrothorn can't come in here. And, uh, Granbolt, he could stay in and risk the Sludge Wave, but, um, my Nido Queen is in decent position here. The Weavile could come in, but the Weavile at half speed, I don't even know. I should check on what Weavile at half speed is like. Weavile. Max speed Weavile hits 194. Ugh. Let me pull out the calculator. 194 divided by 2 is 97. So it does still outspeed... Oh no, this is Scizor. My Nido Queen. It outspeeds my Nido Queen by 1 point. But does go into Blacephalon. Does have an Air Balloon. Which is pretty rough in general for me. Blacephalon. Blacephalon. I don't take hits from this thing very well at all. But it would allow me to freely go into my Diancie. It would allow me to freely go into my Diancie. But I have to get a Rock Polish up, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to click Flamethrower. It clicks its own Flamethrower. Um, yeah, we didn't, we didn't, we never had a chance to take that. Now, uh, depending on what Beast Boost it gets, um, this will be interesting for me to gauge. Special Attack does rise. Let's get a Special Attack raise. Which means...
I can go into this. Actually... Raichu. Surf has an 81% chance to Oko a Blacephalon. I'm gonna click Surf. I should click, um... I should have clicked... Volt Switch. I really should have. I really should have. Surf is a super obvious play. However, however... If this Blacephalon does switch out, then it has to come back in on Rocks, which, um... Would put me in a decent position regardless. If the Ferrothorn comes in, I can HP Fire. Yeah, no matter what comes in, I can hit it decently hard. Um, the Weavile could come in. Oh, the Weavile could come in. Uh, I don't remember if I damaged the Weavile at all. I know it got a knockoff off. I feel like I got a knockoff off, and then it, um... And then... Oh, wait. Did it get a knockoff off? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna let whatever turn happens, happen. It does let me get off the surf. It does let me get off the surf. That's fine. Um, yeah, I forgot that I got, um... I forgot that I got, uh, knocked off, so I don't have a life orb anymore, so I can't threaten, um, an Oko anymore, but, uh, the fact that this thing... The fact that this thing, um, is not... Uh, isn't a sp isn't speed boosting and isn't speed boosting and uh, can't and can't be scarfed or anything like that and it's right on twenty five percent so I can't really switch out um, even though it invites in the Weavile I click Psychic because okay so even if the Weavile is invited in I can always go into my Lodic my Lodic always walls the Weavile. And then I can deal with whatever happens there. I can deal with whatever happens from there. I put myself in an aggressively bad spot. I really could have won the match with Scizor alone. Just let me get off the Scarf Psychic. Again, doesn't fight in Weavile, but um, I'd be surprised if it's a Sword Dance Weavile. I mean, regardless. Um, I don't know how my Melodic wouldn't just deal with it. Oh, and it's, mm, I didn't even think about, um, the fact that I could have maybe brought a competitive Melodic against the Grand Bull. But Marvel Scale was always the play. Marvel Scale was always the play. As much as I would have loved... As much as I would have loved to um, have a competitive Milotic, it was never going to be worth it. Wait, did I give my Milotic the correct ability? Yes, okay. Okay, I, my Milotic should be a uh, Marvel scale. I'm going to have to check on that between turns, but um, I hope that I did that correctly. Okay, I believe that I am. I'm concerned because it's not in the calc right away, but it is in showdown. I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna have to check. It does bring in the Grand Bull, which is super interesting. He knows that I'm Scarfed. Why would he not want to bring in Weavile? Does he not know that I'm Scarfed? Does he think that I can outspeed? He, regardless, I'm gonna do what I said I would and check on my... My Lodic. I am Marvel scale. Okay. Marvel Scale didn't import into show into the calculator. But I'm gonna click Psychic. I'm gonna click Psychic.
Uh, yeah, I'm not. Mm, I'm not too sure what that was. Maybe that was a misclick or ran out of time. I'm not too too sure. I'm not too too sure. Um, I've made so many misplays so far. It's kind of wild. I, the fact that I forgot that my Raichu was no longer life orbed really kind of messed me up. However, I feel like that was deserved only because I did get the static off on the Weavile. Um, but yeah, my Lodic Wall is Weavile every dang day. And... And, uh... The Ferrothorn, I have, I have HP Fire on two of my remaining Mons. So hopefully we can get some headway there, but it's going to be a slog regardless, I feel like. Does bring out the Weavile. And I am 100% forced to switch out. I am 100% forced to switch out. Does go for Swords Dance. I am very free to click Dragon Tail, though. I'm not going to make the uh, A Drive mistake again. Uh, by running Toxic on my Lodic, especially, um, especially in the situation where two of the final Mons on the team are the is a steel type but an all-out attacker weavile against my milotic which is in fact marvel scale um it's not banded so i can take that off but it is at plus two. Oh no the we mm, that's unfortunate i am sorry about that I am sorry about that. But... What that makes me want to do is just hard switch into... Is hard switch into... My... Uh... Meloetta? Because from there, I can spam HP Fire, even if he does want to switch in um, the Weavile aggressively. does go for the Leech Seed, which I did kind of expect. I thought there was a chance that he could go for the Gyro Ball, which is the only reason I didn't go into my Diancie, which can also win the match from here. But um, I felt like this would overall be the safer play. And at the very least, I'm pretty positive that the Weavile can never beat me because of my... Um, my Lodic, but it's just a matter of dealing with the Ferrothorn and the Weavile together. It's just a matter of dealing with the Weavile and the Ferrothorn together. I feel really dumb for so many plays that I've made. Uh, I played the Scizor really well in the beginning, and then... And then I just pooped the bed by not going for that Bullet Punch. He 100% got that 50-50 on me, and then... And then, yeah, of course the Raichu play. I could have played that differently, but that Raichu play was pretty rough. Mm. I'm not terribly happy with how I played this match. But... <sighs> Raichu on its own just kind of bailed me out. Raichu honestly just kind of bailed me out. And having such a defensive Nidoqueen bailed me out as well. That HP Fire did quite a bit. Goes for the Gyro Ball. I am Scarf, so it should do a decent amount of damage, but... Yeah, not enough where... Not enough where... Unless this thing has Protect, but we've already seen Leech Seed. Leech Seed, Gyro Ball. I think that's it, right? Leech Seed, Gyro Ball? Is that all we've seen? If he has Protect, then that would be super unfortunate, but I do think we take... He would have to get a Double Protect for that to matter. We'd have to get a double protect for that to matter. I'm pretty positive. Does withdraw. I feel like I should take out the Weavile, though. 
It's gonna go under half. Do we do do we do have to we bought I feel like we do, right? I feel like we do. I feel like this Ferrothorn does not protect. Um especially with the way that he played around the scissor, I feel like um he would have protected against the scissor at some point. Um but yeah, no. I think this final HP fire could win us the game. He doesn't get leech sheet because uh, this thing does come in. And I feel like this HP fire should seal the game and put us on track to win the final match of the season. And I believe that would get us third seed in our division. And uh, it can go crazy from there. Whatever happens, happens from there. We do get that hidden power fire off. We do get the win. That was a wild match. Thank you so much to Steve for creating the format and for uh, such a fun match. He was a complete joy to, to banter with and uh, schedule with. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again for the final week next week. And we will see whether or not we get that third seed, which I believe is in our grasp. Um, and if Frosted loses out, we could be in reach of the second seed, possibly. But that is going to depend on a lot. Regardless... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you once again, out.